everybody, it's good to see you again. Today I came back with another owl story. This one is called The Best Nest. Nest. What letter does that start with? Nest. You're right, it's an N. It goes long down, slant down, and long down again. Nest. Look at the owl. He's pointing to nest. This story is written by Laura Dada and Matt Buckingham. Let's begin. In a tiny nest at the top of a tall, tall tree lives little owl and all his brothers and his sisters. Oh, look at there they are in their nest. There's not enough room, said little owl. So away he flew to find a new home. Oh, look at it. His wings are so big. Splish, splash, splish, splash. Little Owl's friend Frog was playing in the pond. Hello, Frog, hooted Little Owl. Your home looks so fun. Can I stay with you? But, splish, Little Owl's feathers got all soaked. Oh, it's too splashy for me, he said sadly. And off he went to find a new home. Crunch, scrunch, crunch, scrunch. Little Owl saw a Hedgehog burrowing in a nest of leaves. Hedgehog, your home looks so warm. Can I stay? asked Little Owl. Ooh, said Hedgehog, please do. So Little Owl snuggled up beside him. But, ow! Hedgehog's spines were sharp. Oh, sorry. This is too prickly for me, said Little Owl. And off Owl flew. Swish, swoosh. Little Owl finds Spider spinning her silvery web. What a beautiful home, Spider, said Little Owl. May I stay here? Of course, said Spider. Little Owl stepped onto the web, but wriggle, wriggle, found himself in a tangle. Oh, it's too sticky for me, he sighed, and off he swooped. Scratch, scratch. Little Owl met Mouse peeking out of her nest in a tree trunk. Oh, do you see Mouse? There she is. Oh, it's very cozy in here. Come and try it, Mouse squeaked. So Little Owl tried to squeeze through the hole, but bump. Oh, he couldn't fit. Sorry, it's too small for me, he said. And away he fluttered to find a new home. Owl found that bats were hanging in their cave. This home is very peaceful. Please, may I stay? Asked Little Owl, trying to hang upside down. But, thud! Little Owl crashed to the ground. Ouch, he said, rubbing his head. I'm gonna have to find a new home. Chirp, chirp. Little Owl heard the crickets singing in the grass. Oh, what a friendly place to live, said Little Owl. But, eek, his ears began to ache. Oh, it's too loud for me, said Little Owl with a sigh. Where should I go now? Oh, Owl's looking really sad. Poor little owl. He was all alone in the cold night with no home of his own. He missed his old nest and his brothers and his sisters. But just then he heard, whoo, whoo. My brothers and my sisters, said little owl. And he soared off to join them. How do you think that owl was feeling in this picture? His head is down. I think he's feeling sad too. <gasps> In a tiny nest 
At the top of the tall, tall tree, Little Owl snuggled with all of his brothers and sisters. It was noisy and hot, and it was way too small, but it felt just right. This is the best nest, said Little Owl happily. Hoo, hoo! Look at him now. He is with all of his brothers and sisters. Let's count how many owls there are. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, look at their faces. They sure look happy to be together. I hope you enjoyed our story, The Best Nest by Laura Dada and Matt Buckingham. We'll see you again soon. Bye.